It was the best carbonara I've ever had. I wanted to quickly jump in here at the start to say that at the end of the video, I'll be talking about every single thing I got up to on each day and some tips and tricks. I didn't want to do it over the top as a voiceover and I was with so many people in Rome that I didn't want to ruin the experience. So enjoy the entire video and the vlog and I will see you at the end for those tips and tricks. Chapter two. Ciao! We are in Italy! I'm so excited! You can tell. I'm very excited to be here. I've never been to Italy before, so it's very exciting. I've said that multiple times, so sorry. Yes, hi! I've just gotten to Rome about an hour ago. Welcome to the first video of probably a few from Italy. Because I'm spending a whole month here, I'm probably gonna do like every four to five days a video. The first is gonna be a few days in Rome, then we head to Naples and we do a hike with called the Path of the Gods before I actually jump on a two week tour around Italy. And then after that, I see Steph at, in Sicily. So if you wanna know the ins and outs of exactly where I'm going on my trip, I did make a video of like my travel plans. So if you really wanna know like the ins and outs of where and what, check that video out. But I'm just excited to get started. So let's go see the very first thing on the list, which is the Colosseum. It's about a 15 minute walk away from me. So I thought, you know what? Actually, it's about 20 minutes. Go see the Colosseum for dinner. I'm gonna go to dinner with my friend Steph who I know from Australia. We've known each other for years. I can't wait to see her and some of her friends. And yeah, I'm excited to be here. Okay, let's go. Wow. <laughs> What are your top notes? Cheese. Yep. What are your bottom notes? No, we say As it should be. Rate the scooter experience. Uh, out of 10. I'm giving it. I'm giving it an 18 out of 20. Oh, uh, 18 out of 10. I like. 18 out of 10. 18 out of 10. It would get two points if the cobblestones were less. Yeah, look at the cobblestones. So They're it's actually, like a. Uh, I mean, they add a violence that I appreciate. <laughs> there is a violence. It made it more exciting. It's treacherous. <laughs> Yes, but I think that that adds this to the road is treacherous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The road is treacherous. I've decided that adrenaline is <laughs> key for a good experience. We're also lost, so we've got two navigators over here, really trying to figure it out. <laughs> it's a great time. We're really helping. Yeah, we're, doing we're, so much we're over here. listen. Sometimes too many cooks in the kitchen is actually, in you know, we're just really stepping aside for well, the for the yeah. good of the team. <laughs> I've decided that 
I'm I'm just not a leader in this scenario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I accept I'm a great support. We, we support the leaders. Well, I'm actually a professional yeah. hype girl. You actually are. Wow, well, thanks. This is my first gelato in Italy, so I am not well. Do I just get a classic? <laughs> do I just get a classic thing, or do I just? Um... I think hazelnut is the best. Oh, okay. Awesome. I'm having chocolate and pistachio. Mm. I get the pistachio every time. It's an, it's a standard. And then amaretto. Amaretto. I also got the amaretto and hazelnut on top. Just you wait, because there's a glass, there's a glazé cherry in there. Oh, that makes everything yeah. better. Really? Ah. Yeah. Oh. Since you're in a scooter last night, now I just want to scooter everywhere. It's so much easier than walking everywhere. I just scooted to this beautiful location for lunch. Um, and it just saved me walking. It was like 25 minute walk or like a 10 minute scoot. So scooty scoot all the way. Let's get some pizza. Another rooftop bar in Prague. Yeah, 
Yeah, so we thought it was only fitting to go to a rooftop bar here in Rome of the Trevi Fountain. Here we are. <laughs> Good morning! <laughs> Did you get it in? Yeah. Hey. hey! Hey! Did you make a wish? Yeah. Ciao! Ciao! <laughs> I know Kay's from Rome and it's so nice. What video is this? It's we a video, it's a travel video! We always said we were going to meet in Rome. When in Rome? <laughs> What's the Lizzie McGuire song? Hey now! Hey, hey now! now. This is what dreams are made of. It is! <laughs> Grandma used to live here, right? This is my grand, my nonna, and her four siblings with her mom and dad. They, when she was five, up until she was five, I think then they moved to South Africa. They lived live by the Pantheon. So you're going to try find the apartments? Yes, I've seen it, I've been here before, and I hope I get it right. <laughs> what a spot to grow up, hey? Wow. Obviously because it's really so you can't get in, but when Taryn came with my grands, my cousin came with my grand's brother, sorry, he rang the doorbell and spoke in Italian and said he used to live there and they managed to get in. But outside there's a South African flag on this car. Kez, that's crazy. Being a South African. That is so weird. That's, what the heck? That's so weird. It's actually overwhelming that every single turn that you make, it's that, like this huge, amazing monument and you're just overwhelmed because it's everywhere. And so you can't possibly take it all in. It's too, too many things. It is overwhelming. If it's the first time. Yeah, it's like almost too much to look at. I, really, I feel like every corner you take is like a monument or like something. No, it's true. It's so, but then like one of the most iconic things from the world, like that you've always seen that you, yeah, like yeah hey you now, just have hey to, now, that's what dreams are made of. Yeah, you just have to try to take it in. Bye, kids.
Yes. <laughs> Ciao. enjoyed that just as much as I did experiencing it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more guys because I'm going to be in Italy for a long period of time. I go to so many places. So if you're enjoying the journey, yeah, smash a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps me. Okay, let's get into it. So on the first day, I arrived in Rome at around 4.35 and it still gets dark really late. So I wanted to definitely see a big Roman monument before heading to dinner and meeting my friend Steph. So that's what I did. I went to the Colosseum. It was the closest thing to me, about a 20 minute walk. And I just walked around it. I didn't go too in depth with everything. So yeah, definitely recommend obviously just walking around late in the afternoon just to see it. The way the sun hits it was beautiful. Highly recommend. Then I went to dinner. It was just in a local place for her, live music. It was so gorgeous, loved the place. And one of her friends at the end of dinner recommended like, why don't we hire some scooters and scooter around the Colosseum and all the ruins at night are lit up and it would be a really nice way to see Rome. And I do think that this was one of the best decisions that we made in Rome because that was to this day, like one of the highlights of my entire trip. Seeing Rome that way, one, we were on scooters so we could scoot around everything quite quickly. And two, Rome is so big. If you did do that walk in the evening, it would have taken us so much longer. So I do recommend getting a scooter. Now, disclaimer, obviously. Scooters in Rome, quite dangerous. It's a very, very busy place. Please be careful, obviously. We went at about 11 p.m. So it was quite a lot later in the evening, which one, it was much cooler. And two, it was a bit quieter as well. But it is Rome, it is peak season. So some of the roads were confusing on the maps. We got lost. The cobblestones was quite like treacherous. So listen, disclaimer, I'm not necessarily saying you should definitely do it, but we did it and it was one of the highlights of my trip. Being Lizzie McGuire on a scooter and scooting around, it was very, very fun. <laughs> anyway, the next day, I think I'm booking ahead of time before heading to Rome is really important for the Vatican because the Vatican books out, you can't get tickets. I know the Colosseum also books out, but you can often get like tickets just outside the Colosseum last minute, which is what I actually did end up doing in Rome. But I knew for the Vatican, it was quite strict in booking tickets ahead of time. And because it was peak season, I did book ahead of time. And the Vatican was out of this world, amazing. So glad I went. However, I'll insert a few clips here on how busy it is. It is so crowded, it's so touristy. I mean, it's expected, obviously. And it is definitely something you have to do when you're in Rome. It's so unbelievable. But just be warned that you do feel like a tourist sardine just walking through it. Also, I did feel a bit rushed as well. Like I wasn't ready to move on with what I was looking at and I had to rush through. So that was the only thing I would say about the Vatican is I wish I'd gone slower and I wish it wasn't so packed in there, but I guess that is what it happens when it's really, really touristy and it's peak season. 
When I got out of the Vatican, it was so hot. I did not have it in me to walk to this really recommended area for pizza. I'll put the um, area here because I can't really remember what it was called. But I'm glad I, again, got a scooter to that side of town. And that area was one of my favorite areas in Rome. I actually went there again at the end of my trip with Jake. We went for dinner in the evening and there was a whole bunch of nightlife and live music. So I really think that that is one of my favorite areas in Rome. It was so beautiful, so picturesque. Every corner and laneway was just gorgeous. So I highly recommend if you can go to a meal in this area, whether it's for lunch, like me, for pizza, or whether it's in the evening to see the nightlife. So yes, I ended up doing that. It was a big day. After the Vatican and after lunch in that area, I went to the Trevi Fountain and the Spanish Steps. I did it all in one day. Maybe if I, in hindsight, had more time, I would do it over two days just to make it not so stressful and busy. But yes, I wanted to smash things and, and, and see everything in a short period of time. So yeah, that was a really big day. Now, that evening, we went and got pasta and on my footage, you can't see much of anything at that restaurant because also I was with Jake and I didn't want to film in front of other people. But that was hands down the best carbonara I've ever had in my entire life. And it was recommended by Stanley Tucci in his recipe book. And our friends had gone there a few nights before and they were raving about the best carbonara of their lives. So I was like, okay, well I have to go. And it was the best carbonara I've ever had because I tried carbonara in multiple other places in Italy to try and see if I could beat it. And I just couldn't guys. It was, it was unreal. You have to go there if you want the best carbonara of your life. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> and then the third day I met with my friend Kezia and it was so nice to see someone from home. We walked around the shopping district and we went into a whole bunch of leather shops. I bought a leather handbag. So yeah, I enjoyed the shopping district. We ended up having beautiful focaccia for lunch, which I do recommend just going into any sort of deli kind of place as you're walking along because the focaccias and just like the general looking sandwiches that don't look as amazing as they taste, they are unreal. Un unreal. Incredible. So yeah, focaccia. Mwah. I was really with her for a short period of time before she had to get a train outside of Rome to another spot in Italy. So yeah, it was just a nice little thing to do together, make some memories in Rome. And then after that, I wanted to, again, make the most of my afternoon. I think she left me at around two o'clock. So I still had a lot of daylight and I didn't have a ticket for the Colosseum, but I went to the Colosseum to see if I could just get one of those random tickets from the resellers on the side. And I did, I was a bit worried I was gonna be scammed or something like that, but a lot of them are pretty legit. And yeah, I bought a ticket, went in, and I'm so glad I did a tour of the Colosseum. It was just really hot in that period of the day. So I would maybe recommend if you want to, and you have some time in Rome to do it earlier, just because it was so, so hot and the ruins absorb so much heat. Ugh, that at the end of the Colosseum tour, I really wanted to go see more of the ruins, but I just was like so hot, trying to get out the sun as a redhead, trying to find shade in like a very vast area of ruins. So that was the only thing, it was just the heat. Met up with my friend Jake again, got on a scooter and went back to my favorite area for dinner. And that was where we ended with a beautiful dinner and some nightlife. Um, I really am glad that you came along with the journey. I then head the next day to the Amalfi Coast. I spend the weekend in Amalfi. I do a beautiful hike in the Path of the Gods. So stick around again, like subscribe if you want to keep seeing some more from me. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.